Aerial roots are quite common in succulents and other plants. They can mean a few things and may or may not require action. In cultivation, it's almost always a way of communication when it comes to succulents and should be treated as such. In this video, we will first define what aerial roots are and then have a look at different reasons they form on succulents with examples from plants in my nursery. If you're not interested in the technicalities, you can skip this first part. Aerial roots are roots that develop on part of the plant above the surface level. They can be partially or fully exposed to the air. Most aerial roots are adventitious, meaning they form from non-root tissues and are different from the primary roots. They can be part of normal development, but also grow as a response to stress. Aerial roots are also able to absorb water and nutrients. Let's have a look at some examples and causes. Aerial roots will grow on some succulents as part of their normal development and are usually nothing to worry about. They are just part of the plant. They can mostly be seen on trailing succulents or vines and help them spread. The best examples are succulents in Sedum, Crassula, Ripsalis, Epiphyllum and Senecio genera. There's of course more, but these are the most common. In cases of trailing succulents like sedum or senecio, the aerial roots form so they can root into soil and allow the plant to spread as long as there's good enough ground. But with epiphytic succulents such as epiphyllum or ripsalis, the aerial roots help with attaching and absorbing water along with nutrients. Epiphytic succulents grow on the surface of other plants or logs and derive nutrients with their roots from the air, rain and debris such as fallen leaves, bark, etc. In cultivation, these plants are usually in potting mix to help them grow well as most of the time it's not as humid as in their native environments. They will still grow aerial roots regardless as it's part of their normal makeup. Succulents will grow aerial roots when they get stressed by external factors and this is where we need to pay attention. In certain situations, aerial roots are the last resort and appear because the plant is dying. The most common factors forcing aerial root growth in succulents are lack of nutrients, disease, wounding, lack of water, insufficient light and flooding. Let's have a look at these individually. Lack of nutrients can be caused by inadequate potting mix, poor soil and being root bound. This Aeonium sunburst is a great example of a succulent growing aerial roots because it's severely root bound. Look how dense that root ball is. This side root would eventually reach into the neighboring pots and succeed in finding more nutrients. Root-bound succulents have used up all of the nutrients available, whether it be in the garden or a pot and so the plant has to find ways to get more. Poor potting mix or soil will also cause lack of nutrients. This Schwarzkopf is planted in a spot where I know the soil is not great. It's very dense clay and not many plants grow well in it. I've been planning on mixing a few bags of all-purpose potting mix in for a while, but I just cannot find the time. Still, at least I got some good footage for the video. The best example I have for disease triggering aerial root growth is the fungus that causes root rot. Some succulents will try and save themselves when their roots get decimated by rot and produce new unaffected roots. So this poor Hawothia had root rot but thankfully it hasn't spread up the stem. Instead check out this amazing root it sent all the way down to the water dish. And the rosette is not looking all that bad. Pretty amazing if you ask me. If you ever see root rot, make sure to cut off the rotted parts ASAP, provide the plant with fresh potting mix and go easy on watering. Not all succulents will grow aerial roots and many die from root rot spreading through the stem and into the leaves. 
Wounding a succulent with complete separation of branches or offsets will trigger aerial root growth in those separated parts in almost all succulents. Anyone who has propagated a succulent has caused this to happen. Wounding can also be partial. For instance, when an insect chews through enough stem or, in this case, leaf, it may trigger aerial root growth because of the wound. During droughts or when you stuff succulents of water a little too much, some will send aerial roots to try and find wetter soil, but also to harness any water in the air. Not all succulents will do this though and many will just slowly dry out. For instance, look at all these super thirsty echeveria. You'd think they'll have lots of aerial roots, but only a couple do. They only become visible once the leaves are removed. In my experience, drought is not a huge trigger for aerial roots. Wounding followed by lack of nutrients seem to make them grow the most, at least with my succulents. Okay, so insufficient light does not really feature in any reading material I've come across as a cause of aerial roots, but I see them appear in plants that grow in too much shade for their liking and have a theory. I've planted this path out both with succulents and shrubs, which was a bit of a mistake as the shrubs quickly overgrew most of the succulents. But the succulents are not giving up and trying to move out of the shade, growing aerial roots on their stems to help fuel the migration from darkness to light. This is just my theory, though there may be literature out there I haven't seen confirming it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Plants can easily die when their root system is flooded. But even when the roots die, some succulents, just like with the root rod, will try save themselves by growing aerial roots. Going against all the advice in my videos, I planted this Aeonium in a spot that floods after lots of rain. The roots and stem close to the ground have died, but look at these branches and the thick roots. This arboreum can still be saved by snapping the branches off and replanting elsewhere, preferably on a slope. And that is pretty much it when it comes to aerial roots and succulents. I just have one final point to make. Not all succulents will grow aerial roots, even in situations when they should and it could save their life. Aerial roots can be random, but when they do show up, it could be worth investigating the reason. And on that note, it's time to wrap it up. If you'd like to add anything to this video or want to ask a question, you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, hit that subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you very much for watching.